All right, I wanna do a learning check here. So answer this. So what I want to do besides um, go over this in terms of the answers is also tell you about the cells present in these different types. If you know this already, do it yourself first. Um, so here we're pointing to the nervous tissue present in um, the brain, spinal cord, and nerves. Nervous tissue is going to contain neurons as well as many supporting cells. We'll go into these um, later in the semester. One example is astrocytes. You may have heard of astrocytes, Schwann cells, satellite cells are some examples. Diverse groups of cells, um, but a um, about six total. Um, their function is either to send electrical signals or support the other cells um, largely. Okay. Over here, we have muscle. This will be present in um, the skeleton, the, around the skeletal muscles, um, in the heart, and around smooth, around um, visceral organs and digestive organs, depending on what type of muscle it was. Myocytes is the name for the main cell type in, in muscles. Myo refers to muscle. And actually, I will just define this up here. Site refers to a mature cell. So there would actually be something called myoblasts, which are immature muscle cells. Immature cells often producing, I'm just gonna put stuff. We'll come back to those. Okay, epithelial, we're basically gonna call these epithelial cells. You'll see we're gonna give names to the shape of them um, later this week. So it is gonna get a little more complicated. Um, there's a couple specialized cells and epithelial cells, but mostly, um, there, it's like a single cell is right here, and they're all, it's all epithelial cells. This is very cellularly dense tissue. So this is all cells here. Same with here. Um, then we've got connective tissue. Connective tissue, you could say, found in lots of places in the body. It's epithelial tissue. Um, around organs, in the blood, between organs, between joints, so many types of connective tissues. It's the most diverse. So it also has the most diverse types of cells. So some of the cell types are adipocytes, fat cells, blood cells. So both red blood cells and white blood cells are a, a type of connective tissue. Then we've got some that might be a little newer. Um, fibroblasts and sites. So immature cells and mature cells. Fibroblasts are gonna be producing fibers. So blasts in the connective tissue sense are producing fibers that contribute to the connective tissue itself are really important for the connective tissue structure. We've got chondroblasts and sites. Very similar idea, but chondro is specific to cartilage. So these are cells in cartilage specifically, and we'll talk about how you identify those, what that means. But again, chondroblasts are gonna be producing fibers Chondrocytes are kind of chilling out as mature cells. And then also similarly, osteoblasts and sites. Osteoblasts and sites are found in bone. All right. So as we go through these different tissues, 
Um, some of this terminology is going to be useful, especially for connected with the blasts and sites. Um, we'll see more detail for other ones like epithelial. We'll define those epithelial cells in a different way. Um, and again, nervous and muscle will do a bit this week. And then a whole lot more is separate, a separate units um, in future chapters.